body. Spagglethorf. There it is. There's a the timer. Set that. <laughs> so this probably looks a little bit more clear to everyone this week because we accidentally broke the other camera. <laughs> this actually kind of works. Like you can see it's a lot better. Yeah. There's no zoom in this week, so hope you're not ready for this. Hope you're not expecting to zoom in. To be fair, we're already kind of zoomed in. More yeah. Than we usually are, which I kind of like. Same. Um. So hopefully in the works. Oh, we're, we jumped right into business town, right off the bat. You uh, love business town, though. <clears throat> Everybody loves business town. Um, jumping right off the bat here. Uh, we're working on a new green screen feature, hopefully. So hopefully if I can get that to work, uh, then I will. Uh, but we have not green screens randomly. So, yeah. You will. This will be the last. Damn, that, that's sad to say. It's gonna be the last podcast in the old studio. I just not thought of that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Damn skis. Man, last one. Tom, you ready? You ready? I'm not gonna give me a kiss on this one. Yeah. <laughs> cool. The stars are still here because no one, nobody wanted a fucking star. We made a business pitch and everything. Love you, Tom. Uh. <laughs> His trophy is being transported. Right transported. We still have the stars, guys. Come on. Call it. Call it. Uh, trophy Wars. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. Call it Jason Statham because he's transported. <laughs> <laughs> we have stars. We got stars. hard dicks, daddy. Hard dicks, daddy. Hard stars, daddy. Woo! Come on. Get a star. Come on. <clears throat> What was, what was our slogan? Whatever you are, we have stars for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that last week. Men, uh, women, non-binary, whatever you are, Kirk, we have a star. Kirk Cameron. You. <laughs> Kirk Cameron. <laughs> I think. Yeah, if you want, Kirk Cameron, Kirk Cameron, if you want a star, we got him for you. Oh, yeah. I'm not, you heard the slogan. Anything. I, I'm not sure if evangelists believe in stars, but we got him for you. Uh, <laughs> uh you can find this sexy vacuum cleaner on Twitter at Kyle Dean Two. You can find me on Twitter at Dylan K Nail. You can find us combined forever on Twitter at the Macho Burgers. Anybody want any stars? No. Damn it. <laughs> uh, and you can also find us on YouTube, uh, Facebook. And Instagram, all at Macho Burger Productions. And since you're already on uh, YouTube watching us, go ahead and gently kiss the subscribe button and uh, gently poke the bell icon with your tongue to get, <laughs> to get notified. Now, now that's hard dicks, Daddy. <laughs> to get notified when we upload tasty treats like the weekly podcast and whenever we decide to give you something else. Uh, <laughs> so that could be, you know. Yeah. Today, tomorrow. But since we're finally moving, we maybe we'll finally get the album of you everyone's been waiting for. John, John Cena's, Cena's grand whatever. Opry album, his magnum copus, <laughs> the greatest album ever made. I see where uh, John, John wanted to start. <laughs> Did you drew the bottom of yeah, it? Like yeah, like please. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, we're going to do John Cena's amazing album, You Can't See Me. I don't know if it's actually called You Can't See Me. Same, I always forget what it is. Yeah, I always forget. Uh, John Cena. John Cena and the Funky Bunch. Uh, album. Yeah. <laughs> You call it is called You Can't See Me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that album from 2005. I like how the artwork's just the belt. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll put in the background. <laughs> if I can get the green screen door. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Hey, we can be like Fantano and have the actual album yeah. artwork in the background. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so be look, look, be on the lookout for that. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, so we got two microphones now. You, you can't see his because of Tom. I don't think. Can you see yours? Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. Peeking in. Peeking in. Here we go. 
Oh yeah, it's in my head. I was looking yeah. out. I think I think also your cup is annoying. Let's see, oh oh, look at that. Two cameras. I mean, two microphones. It's very real estate. Yeah, we're actually using my iPhone to film. Bananas. Yeah, we're gonna film bananas, boys. Um, <laughs> if you have a banana and you want us to film it, we'll film your banana. That sounds bad. <laughs> film your bananas, boys. <laughs> Here, watch a burger productions. We'll, we film bananas. Your boy's bananas. We'll film your banana. We've been able to open this room before the podcast. Yeah. Still. Yeah, that's my name. Unfortunately. <laughs> Should be teeth. Yeah, true. Uh, if, if, no, if nobody wants these stars, we're going to go on an adventure. Uh, we're just, we're just going to start trading them. See what we can get. Because nobody else wants to buy stars. <laughs> so, uh, until we get everything set up into the, in the new apartment, uh, it might be a while before the set looks like an actual set. So, it's be on the uh, bare minimum with that. That's not the words I was looking for. Be, be on the... Uh, just, work, yeah, just work out. Just, just, just work with us. <laughs> We'll eventually get it the way we need it to, to work. Oh. Uh, eventually. Eventually, yeah. Allegedly. Pears. Pears. <laughs> uh, let's it. Yeah, shout out Rick Ross. Why not? Shout out Rick Rubin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll burp him now. It's Rick Rubin. He's a music producer. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, the one with the long, yeah. real long beard. Yeah, he's like halfway bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching a, I was watching a video on Yeezus yesterday. That's how, that's why his name was in my head. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rick Rubin, you did it. You're doing something. You're not making Kanye albums anymore, though. And that's what, <laughs> that's what saddens us all. Did you see that in the corner of your eye? Or just, yeah, sounds okay. like. Uh, can you see the turtles? I don't know. Probably not. We have a turtle poster. Uh, how are you guys out there, boys, girls, non-binary? How you doing? Whatever you are, we have a star for you. How you doing out there? You feeling good? You feeling gay? You feeling spontaneous? I'm feeling one of those things. It's not spontaneous. It's not good. (laughs) I'm gay. Uh, yeah. (laughs) What the shit? I, I make it a smaller chair. That's <laughs> probably the best. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be getting microphone stands soon. Other than these bad boys. Don't eat it. <laughs> it's green. It's fair. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to get new microphone stands. For someone who doesn't like cherry flavored things, you sure, you sure we're quick to choose red for your color? Strawberry. <laughs> uh, punch. Why is red the go-to color for things? Red and blue. Yeah, man. Over red and black. But there's no blue fruit other than Can't blueberry. <laughs> I don't know how I got there from red and blue, <laughs> but you yeah, a little confused. But you got the spirit. <laughs> got a new reptar shirt, everybody. I do, man. But you know we can't. Yeah, we can't. Currently. I can try with the, with the remote, but it ain't gonna do shit. You gonna do shit because the uh, camera broke. I wonder if I can like if I pull this white white cord if I can just get it to go. Oh, nope, uh, I moved the laptop. <laughs> well, I see what caused it. I think I think the stool caused it to fall. It's always stool, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can't get it. I was hoping to pull it. Yeah, well, uh. But yeah, sorry, I'm kind of off the rock, off my game today. Um, so yeah, this is the last one in this area. Uh, we've been we've been in this we're over here now area for over here. Well, Mountain Burger has been filmed here. Yeah, but like this yeah. iteration of the yeah. podcast, it's, yeah. been, it's been over a whole year. Yes, it has. It's gonna be sad because we finally stuck with it. It's true. Yeah, we have. Uh, yeah. Thanks to Michael Witherspoon. Dude, if anything, I could just make a uh, 
We can take a picture of this, I think. And then green screen it in, <laughs> maybe. That's not the worst idea. <laughs> See, when we get done, we'll do that. Oh my, yeah. Just move the chairs out of the way. <laughs> take a picture of it. <laughs> it's on a booth. We could just, ne- just never wear green. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I never really wore green to begin with. Yeah, same. It's very, it's very rare, but this does have green in it. That'd be really weird to be like each one would be a hole. Yeah. <laughs> I got a shot or something. <laughs> Guess who attended school today? <laughs> hey, hey! Woo! School in America. Uh, uh, Gunshot. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, <laughs> uh? <laughs> yeah, we're, I, I, I need to actually purchase that. Right. It's like 40 bucks. We both need to since we're going to be both using laptops this time. Yeah. It's 40 bucks. We get our own sound bar. All right. Uh, yeah, we could put unlimited sound bars on right. there. We can get hard dicks, da, 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 daddy. We can get MF Dome, MF Dome, <laughs> uh, boo. mashed potatoes, buttery biscuits, applesauce. <laughs> I get lost. <laughs> uh, rip that legend. Uh, rest in peace, MF Doom, you beautiful, beautiful soul. <laughs> Mask. His mask was beautiful. Yeah, it was. I want to buy one. Yeah, I've, I've, been, actually, I've actually been googling how much they are. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about like the little bit of space I have, like right here, just getting his mask in this little area. Just, MF Doom. Uh, what a legend! He sells rocks like dimes. He does. Cheats like Peach, Sean like Dom. <laughs> oh, Cheech and Sean. Take me to a dike. <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to say that. <laughs> Cheech Baron said it. It's okay, guys. Yeah, he was, he, he was he was big. To uh, be like, fair, if Walmart can play the Red Hot Chili Pepper song that says that word in it, true. I'm I'm sure it's not that bad to say. Right. Because they openly play it. Like at least I heard it. What about three sounds like that? that? That's anti-Semitic. I wouldn't do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, to be to fair, I, I'm half Jewish, so I guess technically I I, I can say it. Yeah, you're a cool Jew. It's true. Half Jewish, everybody. That's, That's totally one of my favorite jokes in the community. It's like, well, you are a uh, Jew. You can say the whole word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get to celebrate half. I only get to celebrate four nights of Hanukkah because I'm only half Jewish. <laughs> That's still four nights of present, though. You win. Is that how that works? So. <laughs> or, do, or, do I, or do I have to choose which, which holiday I celebrate? Oh, uh, hopefully I'll be getting new glasses soon. Is that something new? We, we got we got new adventures coming on, boys. Maybe one day I'll finally get the urge to, you know. Like our camera did. <laughs> to quote Kyle Dean, I wish I had the boss of suicide like our camera did. <laughs> yeah, I do feel, I do feel kind of bad about the camera going down because my son. My sister bought it for me. True, but he did it to himself. Like yes. we all saw him just kind of fall down. Yeah, yeah, because we were just setting it and it just went whoop. Bloop. See, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was hanging off for a little bit. Yeah, and then the whole thing fell off. I was like, oh, yeah. no, nah, not co- we're not coming back from that. Yeah, if anything, I did find the exact same one for like sixty bucks. So if anything, I could just rebuy the same camera. True. Um, I might actually. We already know how to work it. <laughs> Penis. Yeah. So I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> I like the screen video. Uh, is that it for Business Town? I think maybe. No, you didn't even do the main thing of Business Town. Well, I can't read the geographical regions because my phone's over there. Well, so, oh yeah. Well, you can still tell them where we're on. Oh, well, you already did that. Yeah, yeah, you? yeah. Oh, you can also find us on. Uh. Spotify, Spotify, uh, farmers only, blackpoolmeat.com. <laughs> I can think of another eHarmony, Dick Suckers Anonymous, Grinder, Tinder, Bumble, Humble, Humble, Bumble. What's that other one? Uh, Etsy, eBay. I was, I was, I was, I'm pretty sure Etsy's an arts and crafts. Yeah, that's a good one. okay. We could be arts and crafts. Yeah, we could. We could. Arts and crafts. We coming for you. <laughs> Arts and crafts. Today we'll be doing finger paintings. 
with her. Oh my god. Don't <laughs> 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 oh. get the paint down your pee hole. That'll hurt. It'll burn a little. Now, what you don't want to do is eat these paints. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Holy fuck, Knuckles. I'm hot as a kite right now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your dreams dry. Wait, keep your dreams wet, pants dry. Hugs oh, all drugs. <laughs> oh, man. What a classic. I love for Ryan Reynolds. I want to make love to Ryan Reynolds. I want to make love to you. <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> that was me coming, bro. <laughs> I liked it. That's hard dicks, daddy. I, come, I don't know I was crying while I was saying it, but I liked it. I'll come hard in the m- motherfucking paint. Leave you stinking. What the fuck you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking art. The lap dances so much better when the stripper is crying. Bro, 12 people have checked out our podcast of Kenan Thompson. And, oh yeah, I just found out today, we're, 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 we're number one on, on top <laughs> podcasts with Kenan Thompson. We never interviewed him, but we sucked his dick pretty hard. And I want to <laughs> say somewhere, he, he's probably seen that. And like, oh bro, these, these two dudes. The, he, he's, I hope he saw us. Like, he's like, well, I don't remember doing an interview with these guys. And he All just right. watches it and he's like, oh man. These guys really love me. These, right. guys, these, guys, these guys are some wholesome dudes. Right. I hope to one day meet them. But I'm not going to go out of my way to try to meet them. Yeah, right. Which I totally get. <laughs> yeah, I, I get Keen it. Ian Thompson's a busy man. Ian Thompson, you're a beautiful man. You're a beautiful, beautiful soul. Beautiful I don't want a pretty face. I don't want to I don't want to I had to start. I had to start doing. I said Kermit Soul, so it counts as a parody. You know? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. That's I, 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 I was trying. I was trying to go more Creed with it at the end, so I wouldn't get. We wouldn't get doxxed. All right. I want to give a shout out to the geographical regions. Uh, I'm not gonna do the big breath because I have to scroll up on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to do a big shout out to Czech Republic, Japan, Italy, New Zealand, Sweden, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Spain, Russia, Uruguay, Pakistan, Philippines, Romania, Mexico, Portugal, India, Australia, Germany, France, Canada, United Kingdom, Ireland, and the United States. Okay. Uh, what what states out of the fifty are, are our biggest demographic? Good question. Uh, Georgia and North Carolina, and a little bit of Virginia. What fuck's in North Carolina? Uh, hold on. Well, I guess us. Okay, here's here's every state that's <coughs> out of fifty. Uh, people have checked us out, and we're oh, we were checked out in Honolulu. Hawaii. That was probably an accidental click. <laughs> Definitely was. <laughs> uh, in Hawaii. It's true. Because I don't think it has all 50 states listed, but it does have the states we were checked out in. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Took us out in Michigan. Someone in. How the fuck do you pronounce that? YP Salanti? Okay. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. Um. Alright, thanks. Whoever checks out in Spalanti, Michigan. Spalanti, Michigan. All right. If someone, uh, knows how to, if someone knows how to pronounce that, put it phonetically in the comments. Yeah. So we know how to say it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to name off those because they're they're less than 1% technically. Right. Check out Florida. They're, they're a 1%. Yeah, they are, they are, they're very 1%. Or Orm- Ormond Beach in Gainesville. Uh, so we sent some stuff to Ormond Beach from where I work at. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll see Ormond, Florida, on the sticker when I put it on the truck. Oh, yeah. I went to school with a kid, and that was his last name. Ormond? The yeah, Ormond. Interesting. Yeah. I would I would fact check him with the the book is currently being used. To hold oh, him. I didn't go to middle school with him. Ah, uh, see, it was freshman year. See, this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, Missouri, Louisiana, Oregon. I like Missouri. Uh, Nevada, Pennsylvania, New York, Illinois, New Jersey, South Carolina. Let's check out Ohio. Ohio is at two percent. Let's go Ohio. Cincinnati and Columbus. Okay, well, Cincinnati's cool. <laughs> yeah. What, what if it was just like someone from like, the the Cincinnati Bengals? Yeah, the Bengals. Yeah. Pretty kind of cool. Although I've been a fan of that team for years, right? And I still don't understand why the fuck it's pronounced Bengals. It's spelled B E N, right? Not B A N, right? Bengals. Yeah. Bengals. 
Bing, yeah, bing. It should be pronounced Bingles. Bing, 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 Sports teams frequently mentioned on the web include the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cincinnati Sizzle, right. the Cincinnati Rockers, and others. He says it right with that. He said Bengals. Weird. Right. I don't know. <laughs> the, oh, man, I love them Bengals. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Who does he listen to us in Washington? Kent in Seattle, Washington. Bongles. Kirk Cobain's ghost is listening to us in Seattle. Oh, I fucking hope so. Just like, man, these guys are cool. Uh, he, he's like, I would have liked these guys. <laughs> We're here with the hated us. Either one. Hey, someone's checking us out in Denver. Was that Colorado? I wasn't paying attention when I clicked it. It was. Hell yeah. What about Texas? San Antonio, Austin, and Arlington. Interesting. I did find out uh, that my sister lives in Wichita Falls, Texas, and that's where uh, Keith Lee is from, the wrestler. Interesting. So that was pretty neat. Wichita. Wichita Falls. Wichita. I'm going to Wichita. Bro, there's a lot of people listening to us in California, from Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah! San Mateo, San Jose. Valencia, Valencia, and Kernville. How is Kernville the most normal one pronounced? Right. That sounds like something that would be in this state, to be fair. It sounds, yeah. It sounds just stupid enough to be in this state. Let's check out Virginia. <laughs> uh, Ashburn and Washington. Bro, the people listen to us in Washington, it's probably Washington, D.C., they're probably listening to us out of fear. Yeah, like, <laughs> we gotta we gotta keep an eye on these boys. We, we, we gotta we gotta watch these. <laughs> Just in case these these knuckle fuckers. <laughs> Let's check out Georgia. He's moving. Atlanta is one hundred percent ours. Uh, there's only one city we're being listened to in Georgia. Atlanta, you are ours now. <laughs> we love you, Atlanta. Good night, Atlanta. We'll be in Atlanta. Weirdly you enough, won't. I have no idea how I'm gonna upload the podcast that night. Yeah. It'll be a Wednesday. Yeah, it will be. Unless I just bring my laptop with me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are we are we driving back home that night? Or are we just gonna... I thought we were just going to go to Okay. We'll find something cheap. True. Let's check out North Carolina, uh, which is 51% of our demographic from the, the United States. Uh, Vail is at a 1%. Newton's at a 1%. Conover is at a 2%. Taylorville, Taylorsville is also 2%. Hickory is 4%. Lincoln, Lincolnton is 15%. And surprise, this this one surprised me the most. At a, uh, at a whopping 74% is from Cheryl's Ford. Yeah, yeah, I don't know anyone from Cheryl's Ford. It is weird. <laughs> other than Braun Strowman. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not going to give his job his real name, but if you want to go look, you can just Google it. Just Google WWE Braun Strowman. I'm sure his real name will pop up. <laughs> it's like Adam something. <laughs> Adam. It starts with an S. I don't know. All right. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What's the animal of the day? Today's animal is the budgerigar. The fucking what? Budgerigars are small, bright parrots. They're originally from Australia, but now they're the third most popular pet in the entire world. Maybe that's because you can teach them to make their squawks sound just like a human. This is what they sound like. Can this be the on program in the pool kitchen in the pool? Hey, would you like to learn a cool fact about budgerigars? Yes. Yes. I guess he's loading a fun fact. All right. Budgerigars can weigh (laughs) 1.1 to (laughs) 1.4 ounces. That means they can weigh as much as a tennis ball. Do you want another fun fact? Yes. PatrioticPetCare.com says that many budgies grind their beaks when they are happy and relaxed. Do you want to hear today's creative challenge? Yes. 
Use your voice or stuff you have around the house to make a budgerigar sound. Then see if your family can guess which animal it is. It was great talking with you. Was that budger guard? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> God, the, 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 the sound it made was kind of haunting. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It sounded like demons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I don't like this. Yeah, I guess for that we're going to... Sound like it was speaking backwards Latin. <laughs> Bro, I really want to get like the sound clip of just from the song Electric Avenue where it says we're going to hop on to. Right. And I'm going to put Mikey Avenue. And then we'll eat some carrots. Uh, yeah. They promote good eyesight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't oh. think about these things before I say them. Uh, I had to. Say, oh, what the shit? I feel like this because then, then I can see him. We should. We should. Um, we should be doing them like some beginner. Yeah. Cool. We had to send them to the laptop. Ooh. Good afternoon, men of macho. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he actually had a good one this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm a little late on the questions, but I'm always a disappointment, so I'm glad I'm keeping that tradition going. <laughs> yeah. Never stop. <laughs> Never stop believing in yourself, Mikey. Please don't take a week off. <laughs> Please. But did we just tell him to last week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so kind of funny. So if, if I don't get anything Tuesday, then we, then we know we'll just take a week off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. No, I'm kidding. We're not going to take a week off. We're too good. We're too... Oh, it's good. Yeah, we're too decent. Decent. <laughs> Question one. You going to watch the NFL draft? Any predictions on who the Bengals are going after? I love, I love how you, he usually asks questions that, that we've already talked about. So like we, we already have it fresh in our minds. Yeah. We just <laughs> talked about it like right before leaving. Dinner. Dinner. Because yeah. uh, I saw a commercial for the, for the draft. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably just watch round one, mm-hmm. uh, just because it'll be on when I'm at home, ready, ready, getting ready for work. Anyways, mm-hmm. uh, I know they're either gonna go after. I'll, I'll, I already forget. I already forgot the two first names of these guys, but they're looking at either Seawall or Sewell. I don't know how to pronounce it. Which is an, which is an offensive line. They're also looking at like I want to say he's a wide receiver. He played with Joe Burrow. In college. In college. His name was something Chase. Cincinnati's looking at both of those for the first round. And I, Chevy. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope it's not Chevy Chase. Got fat girls on my Chase. Chevy. <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. It's a rap lyric I made up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. from, from, a, from a brain. Okay, cool. We can, we can write a rap song. If, if M&M can do it, we can do it. It's true. We are white. Macklemore can do it. We can all do it. Bradley, he is Cuzzo. We should get that as a sound like. <laughs> Brad. Bradley, he's Cuzzo. Brad, 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 hit. It's Cuzzo. <laughs> <laughs> he's Cuzzo. Is he really related to Michael Morrow? No, I looked it up. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I was like, that would be kind of cool. Like, how did, how did all of Hollywood not know this? <laughs> Bradley, he's Dick Daddy. Hot oh, dicks, daddy. Hot oh, dicks, daddy. Uh, don't go. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really the only prediction I got is just since they <clears throat> taken uh, either Chase or Solo. Uh, Panthers, I'm not really watching them that hard. I really want a new quarterback, so I don't know. Yeah, which I think they got one from the Jets. He could have been a good quarterback. But, you know, they have the same problem since Daddy has. Yeah. Just no one to protect the quarterback. Yep. And it's also the Jets. And I think the Jaguars are going to choose Trevor Lawrence as, as quarterback. That's really all. I haven't really been paying attention to the drill. But is any, the is, NFL draft. Is, anyone, is anybody going to choose Bradley? He's Cuzzo. <laughs> is anyone going to choose MF Dome? MF Dome. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any predictions on that one. Yes, yeah, I'm just kind of playing about here because the NFL is kind of weird now. Yeah, I still love it. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, till till I get a good team to back. Same, He's same. I feel that because my team hasn't done very great. Yeah, to be fair, I mean, to be fair, we did become Bears fans last year. Yeah, we did. <laughs> And we were kind of watching the Browns because they were doing pretty fucking well. Yeah, they got well. they got fucked out of it, bro. Yeah, they did. Still. Yeah, that's what makes me mad. Question two: Do you guys ever read books? I'm never, I'm never been a fan besides comic books. 
but I try. I started to read American Psycho, and I'm almost done, and it's insane. I've always wanted to read American Psycho because I like the movie, but like I've never actually like. I, I no to answer the question. No, not really. I don't read. I used to, but that's one of the books that like if I was going to read, I would definitely read that one. Yeah, because the movie makes it interesting. But I know the book goes in detail a little more about like whether or not he's actually making it up or not. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, I don't read. But that one would be one I would want to. Like that. <laughs> Same with Fight Club. I like to read, I'd like to read the book on that because I know it goes into a little more detail than the movie does. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't really read uh very often. Really, the, the thing I read the most is Mikey's questions each week. Dude, though, though, that, that's a good book. Mike, you should write a book just full of questions. How many more podcasts do we do before we write a book of just his questions? Probably we can. I have all the screenshots for them, so we could probably just, right, just start, start now. Blow up a picture of the question. <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> It'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll wait till we get like 100 episodes in. We'll have like 100 chapters. Actually, he hasn't sent them, he hasn't sent them that, that much. He didn't really start for a while. Yeah, he didn't start until like this summer. He started He started for a couple of weeks, then he was on the podcast. And he didn't send his questions. <laughs> Remember that time we didn't know it was him? Yeah, oh, commenting really? on things. Yeah. yeah, bro. And then after that, was when we started getting questions every week. Yeah, he became our go-to guy. Yeah, bro. I love, my love, Mikey. Same. Yeah. So I saw your uh, two-year anniversary with the girl the other day. Proud of you. Proud of you, Mikey. Mikester. Mikester. I guess. I guess that means you didn't tell her we went to Hooters. <laughs> Hopefully, she doesn't watch this with you. Yeah, <laughs> because this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, I, I did say I would uh, cover for it. Have sex with them last week. Yeah, true. I mean, who, who wouldn't, bro? With those teeth. Yeah, he does have pretty teeth. The second best teeth in the game. Yeah, because no one's gonna top Anthony Fantana's Ever. teeth game. Ever. Uh, old melon head. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been watching a lot of Anthony Fantana this Same. week. <laughs> I watched the. I, I watched one. It was it's year old, but it was yeah. when, when his uh, thick boy became a meme on TikTok. Yeah. Damn, he's thick. He a thick boy. <laughs> That's a thick ass boy. <laughs> oh, I love Anthony Fantano. <laughs> I was watching one of those things from the other day. I was also watching like the name compilation. Yeah, I love that. I watch that at least like once once every month. Yeah, Anthony Fantano. <laughs> Drop Finny, dead Tano. Please Finny, stop Tano here. <laughs> Not Finny, <any> happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Man, you remember the one time we we opened with that as a bit? Yeah, I had the flannel on and everything. Yeah, you did. Anthony Fantana here. <laughs> Anthony Nantana here. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Montano here. <laughs> Tom Anthony Moose Tano here. <laughs> <laughs> Macho Anthony Burger Tano here. <laughs> Uh, you love to see it. You really do. Question three. What would you guys do if you suddenly became a billionaire? Give me my payback, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, we would just we would just start a whole company at that point. Agreed. We would just start a company, and then we'd actually just hire you on. Speaking of that, I was actually thinking about this earlier today. I won the lottery. Probably help my boys out. Oh, yeah. I got a boy. You got a kid. Probably give him some money. Be like, hey, uh, you go. Treat your, treat your boy right. There you go. He's also... is he in the middle of a divorce? Taylor it's over. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would, I would like, help my boys out, but also buy the company we can all work at every day, studios, and then I just buy, like, a whole... We, we buy, like, a whole um, road or something. Buy a whole street. We all build our... We'll uh, buy our own houses and build our own houses there. So we all get to live in the same neighborhood. That'd be dope. Yeah, man. <laughs> we go to work every day. I'll probably buy a Chevelle. Drive the yeah. Chevelle to work every day. <laughs> what kind of car would I buy? I, don't know. I would uh, hopefully get to meet Mike the Miz. Miz- Mike the Miz Mizanin. <laughs> Mizowski. <laughs> Mike Mizowski. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that work? <laughs> Mike Mizowski. <laughs> Bro, if I ever, if I ever met him, I'll ever. If we ever get to do an interview with any celebrity, I hope it's the Miz. Same. Because I want to be like, bro, can we call you Mike Mizowski for this? <laughs> Mike Mizowski. <laughs> yeah. He probably already hates it. 
Probably. Because <laughs> like, the first question, all right, uh, Mr. Mazowski. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not my name. Yeah, it is. It, it is for the next hour and ten minutes. <laughs> uh, what else would I do? Uh, we probably just, you know, make our own. We'll probably like the next what culture. Yeah. We just have our own content Start all the time. Scratch, be you, me, Mikey. John. Mikey, John, and his friends. Yeah. I, they would, they would I don't know his friends' names. For us, and then we'd be in the Walking Dead thing that he's yeah. doing. Yeah. Which, by the way, he, he dropped he dropped the announcement for it. Yeah, August 3rd. Get ready, get ready for Rick for, versus Negan. Yeah. Yeah. You, you thought we forgot, didn't you, Johnny boy? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I'm kidding. We love you. Agreed. Not your dreams. Just you. I want to fuck you. <laughs> what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is the same mouth rate. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> it's been a few weeks, okay? Yeah. yeah, give me one. Oh man, well, you don't have to. But you should. It's fun to say. Johnny, hear that? He's gonna, he's gonna diddle your b hole. <laughs> <laughs> About to f you in a b. Yikes! <laughs> boobs. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down for boobs. Uh, fuck boy. Question four. What's the worst nutsack shot you guys have ever had done to you? Mine was mine was on a park pole when I was running toward it and jumped too hard. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that one post I think on Reddit where it was like where it was like one time I thought I thought when people said beat you meat, you usually beat it. And he, oh. he, like, he, he, he punched himself in the ball so hard he fucking cried. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's why I thought busted up, man. We were supposed to hit it until it busted. Right. It's like, come on, work! <laughs> yeah. Ow, it hurts! Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I personally don't have a story, but I, got, I have hey, a friend. I, and just for this story alone, I'm not going to say his name. But a lot of people that we went to elementary school know who it was. <laughs> but I'm not going to say any names. But uh, he was standing on, like, what, what's that big thing called? Uh, it looks like a dome. The jungle gym? That yeah, yeah. Still, I was gonna say monkey bars, but I already met, automatically knew that wasn't right. Uh, is it that of the Thunderdome? <laughs> yeah, he was sitting on the jungle gym, right, and like something happened, and like he just fell, just right on there. Yikes! And then like he you know falls to the ground and he's breathing weird. And the next thing we know, like his pants where they were blue just start turning red. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Oh, so I just fucking yeeted his. I just fucking yeeted him up. Like firemen's carried, I carried him all the way down. Uh, the principal, I mean not the principal, but the teacher was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "We need to go." <laughs> like it's starting, like it's starting, starting to come from the pants onto my shirt. I was like, "Where are we gonna go?" <laughs> oh god, that's friendship, dog. God yeah, damn. and then like they walk you like, "Hey, you need to call uh, so and so's mom or parent to let them know that they need to come get a <laughs> real fun, real fun." Uh, yeah, that was a fun day. Uh, I think he had stitches to fix it, but I mean, he. Still works. He has, he has like three or four kids now. So <laughs> hey, man. congratulations, man. Hell yeah. Maybe one day we'll get him on. Right. So, maybe. <laughs> yeah, then maybe. Maybe he can tell. How, how's your dick still work? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we can tell that story again, but from his point of view. Yeah, like, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm peeing blood. I'll be peeing blood for weeks, cry man. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of this how far I got hit. In the I mean, like, you know, you always have those asshole friends who kind of tapped you there, but like, yeah. that's the farthest they ever really went for me. I, I never actually, I never fucked up enough to where like I hurt myself. Oh yeah. Now, me and John and our friend Stephen, we used to. I had this plastic bottle. Yeah. It was like one of those like Corona bottles that you blew up with your mouth kind of thing. Yeah. But the bottom of it was plastic, so it could just stand. And we just had to smack each other with it. And then like, I got smacked right in the dick with it. Damn. <laughs> and I hurt real bad. Fuck. Yeah. I, I'm actually the one I can remember other than like my friends are going, what's the capital of China? And they're like, oh, Bangkok. Which is Beijing. Is it Beijing? Beijing is in China. <laughs> you blonde asshole. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, oh. had to hit you with that one. Yeah. What, what actually is the capital? Capital of... China. Uh, China. 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 Beijing. I don't, I don't even think I don't even think Bangkok is in China. <laughs> you don't like that. You know? It's capital of Thailand. God, the people I went to high school with, you guys are fucking idiots. 
<laughs> Bangkok's not even in China. <laughs> now, Mike, I just I just want to tell you how wrong you were in your doo doo head. Do you know? Do you know? Know someone named Mike? He's the man who asks these questions. Oh my bad. I don't know. I just wanted to roast him. I'm okay. sorry. I love you. Weirdly enough, I went to school with a guy, and uh, he wore a purple shirt. All right. Called him a purple shirt man. He, it was always the Kool Aid logo when he wore it. It was always the Kool Aid logo. Call me the and purple one shirt. One day it was like character day or something, and uh, he uh, painted his whole body purple. And he came up to me. He was like, "Hey, hey, man, um, my my dick is purple." <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was. Uh, and I was, I was like, "Why did you paint your dick?" He said, no, 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 I didn't paint it. I just dyed my peeping hair purple, and it dyed my whole dick purple. Uh, and then uh, he died. He dropped out. And I, I don't. I don't know if he ever fixed it. I don't, I don't know if he ever fixed his purple dick. But uh, I hope you got the help that you needed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was holding the mic like that. I kind of liked it. But Doug, if you're out there, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> P.O.P. Hold it down. I don't remember what his name was, but his name was it was. Yeah, I figured, I figured it was. Yeah. We're, we, we don't dox people around here. Yeah, especially with that story. I was I wondering. Yeah, I don't, I, don't know where the, I don't know where that would lead us in yeah. general. Yeah, I mean, I, I did go to school with a guy named Doug. Right. But uh, he, was a, he was a senior my, my, my freshman year. But, uh, did I know him, Doug? But I don't really Doug. know what happened to him after, after high school. Doug Hamilton. And Doug Hamilton. Was that his real name? I don't know. Okay. Doug Dugginson. <laughs> Jim Dugginson. <laughs> Doug Demodome. Oh, her with the Demodome. Demodome. I don't give a Demodome. <laughs> I don't give a Demodome about your Demodome, Demodug. I'll drop a Demodeuce. <laughs> All right, fucking now. <laughs> On your on your dimma donk. <laughs> <laughs> on your dimma doom. MF <laughs> <laughs> dimma doom. <laughs> dimma doomsday. <laughs> call me, call me, call me, uh, call me MF doom. Call me MF doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking doomsday, motherfucker. Oh, ski ski, motherfucker. Ooh. <laughs> no. I'm going to school with a guy who fucked a cactus. I think we told that story before. Yeah, and he also found out he allergic to cactus. Yeah, it's not a good day to be, oh. it's not a good day to fuck the cactus, John. That's close to what his name was. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. A, nah. Jill. No. G- yeah. Jeremy. No. Jeretha. Although, although I, I Jamal. Jamal. Jemima. Jemima. <laughs> That's the best pancake mix, bro. I love it. Ah. Question six. <laughs> Not a question, just a reminder to love yourself and brush twice a day and floss your teeth every day. I will do one of those three things. <laughs> Which one? Fuck. I just realized now it's probably be none of those. What, what does I brush twice I, I mean? I already don't love myself, so I'm already uh, bringing that one. That's brush one, twice one, a day. That's the one I thought I could do. And floss your teeth every day. I brush my teeth once a day. It's usually right after I wake up. Uh, uh, I right because I'm not. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. Then wake up and brush them again. Yeah. How stupid would that be? They're they're still clean. Yeah. I always do it once I wake up to get rid of morning breath. Right, and then just get rid of everything you ate that didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Now, my girlfriend, she'll she'll brush her teeth right before bed. That's the only time she'll brush them. Yeah. <laughs> bold. The bold strategy, Cotton. And then at the end, he put, I know you'll probably just say, fuck you, Mikey, and I would understand. All right. He's two question five. Oh, my bad. Uh, question five. When life gives you golden paper stars, what do you do? Well, apparently, goddamn nothing, because nobody fucking wants one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going to fucking trade them on the fucking Facebook market. So, you know, this is where I say, fuck you, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I skipped question five. It was, we were going to end this on a wholesome moment. <laughs> but you had to go and ruin it. I had to go and ruin it, my man. Give it to me for it. You're giving us good content. He's, he's not. Look, shit bird. <laughs> Look how many gold stars I still have. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he sends the questions before he's watched the week prior's episode. <laughs> you shit your pants? No. Okay. Better than that. Okay. Um... Cause I had one of those last night. And I, I could have sworn I, I, I doodled a little, so I just, I just 
Open the butt cheek and just kind of let the fan take care of it and just hope for the best. <laughs> and then I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and there was no brown streaks in the in the, in the bed. So, so I guess we're good. So I, I, I guess <laughs> fan, do your work. I, I, I guess God God sent me something for my troubles, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't a doo doo. Yeah. He healed my troubles for once. For once. Oh, oh Lord, in your mercy, eat our dicks. You want to start with an accent? I licked, I licked one of them, so uh, that's going to be in there. Uh, well, I probably should put that on the trade request. Yeah, just pretend I didn't have them. Bro, well, hey, man, we can trade Mecha Stars. So, uh, four stars stapled together. I will accept three paper clips. Okay. <laughs> I feel it's a downgrade. <laughs> I don't know. Think, think about how many cool things we can make with three paper clips. We can stab. We can stab a person in two of their eyes, and we can stab a cyclops in his eye. <laughs> You're not thinking of the positives here. <laughs> How many cyclopses do you know? Thirty-one. <laughs> God damn it! Oh God damn it! Boy. <laughs> For this one, Rick. <laughs> Two chains. <laughs> I go hard in the motherfucking paint. Leave you stanky. What the fuck you thinking? <laughs> fuck. Uh. <laughs> hard dick, Sandy. Uh, I guess we're gonna move over to ask Reddit, <laughs> and then we'll ask Reddit. <laughs> Well, ask Reddit, what's the size of my asshole? I have crippling depression. Uh, you've been kidnapped. 30 minutes later, your kidnapper dumps you on the street because you won't stop talking about what? Uh. Hard dicks, daddy. On the entire, the entire history of professional wrestling. <laughs> they, they bring it back real quick. I would just start. Like, all right, look. In, uh, in the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah, I was just... There was, a, there was a man named Vince McMahon. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. He had he, a dream. <laughs> he had a dream to create a fucking empire. Of beefy boys. <laughs> of beefy boys, <laughs> and he wanted to make a beefy boy emporium. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> People are like, all right, we, we got we to let you out, man. Yeah, that's, that's... Go ahead and log off for me. <laughs> <laughs> what time are you at? Uh, 47 minutes and 52 seconds. 47? 47. Hey, Google. Who's the 47th president? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. I don't think there's been a 47th president yet. There is in the future, you dummy. I don't think Google's in the future. Yeah, well, that's bullshit. But we almost have four bucks. Hell yeah, man. Well, I, I think we're at 46, though, I think. Uh, 46th president. Uh, So we don't have a 46th. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it's just... <laughs> So we are forty-six. <laughs> really, we're not smart, man. No. Okay, it might be Trump again. Would he count as another president? Or I guess he would because he, he would be like right. He's he was the forty-sixth and the forty-eighth if he runs again. But hopefully, it's Kanye. Yeah, bro. President number forty-seven could be either Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Trump two Electric Boogaloo, and <laughs> or Kanye, Kanye fucking West. West. <laughs> Yeah. Or we go all left out, left field, make Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush. Here you go, Jeb. <laughs> Jeb is a big, fat waste of space. We'd be so fucked. Oh, God. We'll, we'll just pick someone at random. We'll just be like, all right, look like it's going to be... The Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> Devin Warkaiser. That, I'd fuck with that. I'm like, I'm like, no, I don't have tips for this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm fresh out of tips, dog. <laughs> you got anything? Holy shit, what a <laughs> That's hard <laughs> dicks, daddy. <laughs> you only got little sprinkles here. I'll give you a little sprinkle. <laughs> it's 
Sprinkle O semen. Uh, Wubby asked a question on Twitter, but I don't have my phone. So. <laughs> it was uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to recite it from memory. Um, uh, would would you swim in a hot tub knowing that someone has ejaculated in the hot tub 24 hours or less? That is weird. Is that word for word? No, it's just oh. it's like a, <laughs> Adam <laughs> Devine had a similar story about that. And, like, the options were, like, uh, no, I wouldn't swim in that, or yes, I would swim in the tubby cummy. <laughs> <laughs> I voted I would swim in the cummy tubby. Same. <laughs> I would not swim in it. <laughs> but, but was that right? Like, word for word? Yeah. <laughs> in the cummy tubby. <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, cause it gave me a notification he tweeted earlier, but I didn't read it. <laughs> I read it while I was poo pooing. <laughs> yeah, I voted while I was poo pooing. Uh, that's funny. <clears throat> what is something you will not buy the cheap version of? Fruity Pebbles. Nerd throw. Because with Fruity Pebbles, it's weird. Because Fruity Pebbles has the. And I even explained this in a past video from 2019. Where I talked about Nerds Road. Um, Did you have food poisoning? Same weekend. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I've had food poisoning a lot. That's the second time we've referenced that weekend. Yeah. <laughs> less than three hours. Um, Fruity Pebbles, they have the perfect formula. And, and I'm aware off brand cereal is just the exact same company. But Post is smart about it because with Fruity Pebbles, they put the right amount of everything in it. But. What they do with the off-brand was they put a little bit too much lemon flavor in it, yeah. so the lemon overpowers everything else. Right. With Fruity Pebbles, you taste every single flavor. Right. It's weird, but that's how it works. How so, often do you buy Fruity Pebbles? Not often. I, <laughs> I haven't bought Fruity Pebbles in a while. Um, it's been a couple years since I bought Fruity Pebbles, if I'm being honest. Um, at work, I stocked the other day Fruity Pebble ice cream. <laughs> It, it doesn't sound bad. I thought about buying it, but I totally forgot about the time I left. Right, because that was that Cinnamon Toast Crunch ice cream. I, I, I yeah, that. That, that one sounds better than Lucky Charms ice cream. Agreed. Lucky Charms just sounds bad. Cocoa Pebble ice cream just sounds boring. Yeah, like it, that'll it's be chocolate. Bad. Yeah, exactly. But Fruity Pebble, that sounds interesting. Yeah, agreed. Because they have the Fruity Pebble chocolate bars, so those are good. Yeah, but they're doing it for uh, just the um, 50th anniversary of Fruity Pebbles, or... Or just Pebble cereal in general. Right, yeah, because they've had a whole brand. Yeah. Charlie and Captain Crunch. Started with one, now they have bunches. Yeah, bro. Oops. They have honey bunches. Of oats. They have Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch, Berry. Oops, all berries. Yeah. Cap peanut butter uh, crunch. Peanut butter crunch. Chocolate, chocolate butter crunch. Chocolate butter crunch. <laughs> chocolate butt crunch. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ah, it sounds like poop. <laughs> it is. What do you think of Stephen Hawking's idea that if we met aliens, we'll likely be wiped out like the Native Americans? Good lord, this question got dark. I'm full with it. Yeah, I'm fine. We deserve it. For all we did to the Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Native Americans said, we got you back, son. You big dummy. Uh, you no longer have to work. All your financial needs will be taken care of. But you have to dedicate the rest of your life to any endeavor that helps better the world in any way, what do you choose to dedicate your life to? Science. Looks like I'm hopping on that Leonardo DiCaprio train of global warming. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, might as well. He's it's already just... done half the work. Yeah, it's true. Investing my money in Dogecoin. <laughs> um... Also, yeah, I'm going to be getting new glasses soon. And I forgot, I was going to say this earlier, but T-Pain has, like, similar frames to me. And uh, his are, like, clear. And I want to try to get a pair of clear glasses, boys. I don't think it's saying the lenses are already clear. I'm talking about the frames, you dumbass. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> so if you thought I was talking about the actual uh, lens, I hope you fucking get, I hope you fell out of college. 
<laughs> because you're dumb. Dumb boy. Because the lens are already clear, you insignificant fuck face. I'm kidding. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want anyone to fail out of college, except for a couple people. They know who they are. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> and I hope their dog just spontaneously combusts. MC Hammer Dick. In the middle of family night. <laughs> <laughs> You have been teleported. Tele, tele, teleported. You've been teleported exactly three feet to your left. How was this affected? Probably by breaking the goddamn desk. Yeah, I'd be in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> three feet. Yeah, probably like on the corner of the desk. And I don't know if this thing can, can hold three hundred and thirty pounds. Right, it's on the side. Be tipping yeah. over for that. Yeah, I'd probably be sitting on this part actually. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> it probably has been moving by me doing this. So it definitely would not hold 330. No. It would not hold a Western Gorilla. Because <laughs> I am the weight of... we Actually, we both are the weight of Western Gorillas. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be worse. To be fair, I thought Gorillas weighed more than that. Same. What's the dumbest way you got in trouble at school? Um, One time... Uh, uh, I I I told this kid that he was harvesting farts, and then my teacher called my my dad. <laughs> Fart harvester. <laughs> and also, one time, me and my friends were joking around. And he said he's going to kick my tits in. Mm-hmm. I told him I was going to punch him in the bowl. And so the kid overheard and thought we were talking to him. <laughs> and we got we all got suspended for hazing. <laughs> and I was like, well, we weren't, we weren't even talking to that guy. Who the fuck are you? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they called my mom. And my mom just roasted the fucking principal. You really wasted my time for this shit. You really wasted my time for this. I will eat your whole ass. <laughs> my mom's ready to fight anybody, so she'll probably beat anyone's ass. Goddamn cupcake. Oh, you said eat. My bad. <laughs> I said beat on me. Oh, my mom's ready to fight all the time. True. <laughs> She's a feisty woman. She scares the shit out of me. All the time. I'm terrified of my mom. Not not in like an abusive way, but just because like she's pretty aggressive sometimes. Yeah, I get it. Especially if she's angry. Like, you're like she, she's a really nice woman. But uh but like, whenever she's mad, it's you you definitely want to stay out of the way. Hell hath no fury. Uh to quote the Miz, happy life, or ha- I mean happy wife, happy life. <laughs> um he was not the first person to say that, I don't think. He wasn't, but I mean, he's the a, he's a person I heard say it last. True. <laughs> or first, I guess, in this case. And to be fair, my dad uh, never said it, so. <laughs> to be fair, my dad hasn't had a very happy life, though, to be fair. Sure. Um, what band could you listen to their entire discography, skipping very few songs? Weezer. Yeah, Weezer, yeah. Fall Out Boy. Yep. Uh Green Day. Uh uh Foo Fighters, kind of. Yeah, possibly here. Yeah. Lincoln Park for the most part. Kanye West. Always. Uh I'd probably skip over the skits though, because like unless I'm listening to the album. I don't really listen to the skits. Right. Um Kid Cuddy. Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's yeah. some songs in there. Yeah. yeah. Indica wasn't a great album. The album after that was, was bad. Yeah, Fly the Moon Man. Yeah, that one wasn't good. And Passion, yeah. Love, and Demon Sign wasn't that great either. Passion of the Christ. Passion of the Christ 2. Electric Boogaloo. Passion of our Lord and Savior. Kid Cuddy Christ. <laughs> uh, is that what that was called? Passion, Love, and some Demon Sign? Uh, Passion... Pitfalls and Demon Slayer. Passion, friendship, love, perseverance, and Demon Slayer. Beep. Beep, beep. Pain, passion, and Demon Slayer. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> Fuck me, Jerry. <clears throat> hey, we're at ah, we're 59 minutes. Oh, man. We did it, boys. We didn't need to. Uh... Yeah. Stop the start at 51. Because the camera broke. 
That's <laughs> <laughs> good or bad. Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta get the SD card out of it, though. Yeah, you do. I guess we'll just have a Viking funeral for it. Ah. So, <laughs> you know, Vikings didn't bury their dead. They put them on a river. They put them on a boat in a river. Lit that shit on fire. Let them go. Corey what, taught me that. What a what a beautiful what a beautiful send off. Right. You know what I mean? They're already dead. Right. They ain't gonna feel it if they're burning. Light them up. Just the smell though. That'd, be, that'd probably smell terrible. There was a very interesting Doctor Who episode though, where like where like whatever you do to the bodies, like it's like what happens to them. So like if if you get cremated, that's what's happening to you. Interesting. Hey, it's weird. How old's Kid Cody? Thirty-seven. Um. Oh, he looks so happy right here. He does. Um. If you young too. Yeah, that was in 2010. So yeah, he was young. Uh, he's 37. What? He's 37. What a guess, bro. Yeah, born January 30th, 1984. So he just turned 37. What a guess. <clears throat> I'm the best. From Cleveland, Ohio. It's also where the Miz is from. Are we naming this one after the Miz, I think? Wake up and get dressed. This is the third or fourth time we've mentioned the Miz. Yeah, it is. Not today, either. We've mentioned, we've mentioned it more than that just today in general. Yeah, I know. Not just in a podcast. Uh, whoa. Reload. Passion, pain, and demons. Okay, okay. We were yeah. close. I just had, I just had the two minutes at the beginning. Yeah. I don't know. That's why I looked them up. Oh, man. No, ah, my, my mouth wouldn't swallow there for a second. Uh. Uh. Okay. How, how's your high school crush doing these days? I'm gonna look up a different one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of high school crushes. <laughs> Let's be yeah. fair. We all when you when you, when you're young and you look like Jack Black, if 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 a woman talks to you, you'll probably have a crush on him. <laughs> she she graces you with her presence for more than thirty seconds. seconds. Yeah, you're like, oh man. I'm, I'm looking up a different one. Hold on, I'm waiting for Facebook to load. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Uh, what is it? I'm not gonna think of her name. Mona Lisa. That's what. Okay, eh. they're engaged. That's good. <laughs> Look at that. They're engaged. Doing good. Hey, some just pictures. There you go. I don't want to click on anything. I don't want to actually like it, but oh man, why are they? Why do they? Why did this person? Why, why did Dylan Nell randomly like a photo of me Fair enough. from like three years ago? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, whoopsies, doing a bit for the podcast. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> I'm answering. I'm answering an ask Reddit question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a fucking break, dog. Give me a break, Karen. <laughs> I don't think I went to high school with anyone named Karen. Yeah. I had a teacher named Karen, and my mom, my mom roasted the fucking shit out of her. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty funny. So yeah, they're engaged. So I, I assume my, you know, one of my other high school crushes are doing pretty good. Right. I, I remember we had this question the last time, and I remember we looked them up. Well, I'll look at a different one. Uh. Scariest product recalls, and I don't really remember that many product recalls. You will live in the last movie you saw. How fucked are you? Here's a Fight Club, so you. <laughs> <laughs> you go, bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure that's good or good or bad. Depends what character I am. Yeah. Uh, I gotta think about the last movie I saw was. Probably. Uh... Well, that's what me and you went to see. What was that for Tom and Jerry? Kong Skull Island. Yeah. Shit, we'll be fucked. Yeah, well. As long as he's not in Tokyo, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. As long as, you know, they're... Well, I live in North Carolina, so I wouldn't, it wouldn't affect me that much. Right. Because, <laughs> like, it happened on, the, like, it happened on like, the coast of, like, California or Florida or something, and then also in Japan. I don't know. I'm not yeah. affected, so it doesn't, doesn't bother me. Right. 
Gorilla and Kong and Mecha. I mean, Gorilla and Kong. So King Kong and Mecha Godzilla Gorilla. and Mecha, Mecha Godzilla. They, they can destroy Japan all they want. Come over here. Right in America. Come over here in North Carolina. Where shit makes sense. Just, just, just living my life, not having to worry about giant creations coming out of the fucking water and kicking each other's asses. Can't <laughs> <laughs> have a goddamn. Top biggest dick competition. Yeah. You build a goddamn Tokyo. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. It's happening. Right. <laughs> uh, well, it's 104. We should probably wrap it up. We should wrap it up on, on like our parents did. The fuck, Tom? Why'd you do that? Oh. Uh. bad idea.